A new program rolling onto the streets of Southside Hampton Roads may be able to save lives and lower the murder rate. The Tidewater EMS Council is about to put whole blood in the field to give trauma patients infusions before they get to the hospital. Here's what I found out about it today. Shootings, stabbings, bad crashes. Uncontrollable bleeding is the leading cause of potentially preventable death. Local first responders are limited in what they can do. Essentially, all we do, we start an IV uh, so we can keep a vein open and drive really fast to the hospital. That's about to change. They'll be carrying this portable blood cooler, which actually stores the whole blood. Two EMS supervisors in each of the five south side cities will have it. So as you open up the top here, You'll see that there's a unit of whole blood inside. It takes the, the gold standard of care out of the emergency room and puts it out into the field. A sensor monitors the blood temperature and through an app will alert the provider if it gets too warm. It'll alarm on the phone. Another machine quickly warms the blood. Responders can get potentially life-saving blood into a patient within two minutes. For major trauma patients, it, it statistically can increase their chance of survival considerably. Research shows up to 25% of trauma deaths are potentially survivable. The program's already saving lives in other cities. They talked about the fact that they've reduced the murder rate in New Orleans because of the people that they were saving. Whole blood rolls out in Virginia Beach next month with plans to add Norfolk and Chesapeake by Christmas, then Portsmouth and Suffolk by the middle of next year. And while you can't put a price on a life, the program will cost about $250,000 in the first year to buy the equipment and the blood supplies. It'll cost about $150,000 after that. The Tidewater EMS Council pays for all of this, and they're asking for donations of money and blood. Find out how you can give on wavy.com.